whatever hands up, we can't wait anymore. Uh, I would like us to stand uh, at the beginning of the Nigeria. I ask permission that as I stand here, you can allow me to remove the mask, but I will get closer to you. <clears throat> so, we're going to start and uh, we do an energizer. I like doing energizer because to keep people awake. So, are you ready for an energizer? Mm -hmm. And we're going to sing a song of uh, a beta which I was taught by my daughter when she was in a baby class. And it goes like this. Uh, because we are doing agribusiness, so I want to, to sing a song related to agribusiness. It goes like this. Avocado, avocado, papaya, papaya, oranges and lemons, oranges and lemons, fruits and fruits and Okay, are we ready? Yes. yes. That was just a rehearsal. Now we can go in. Avocado, avocado, papaya, papaya. Oranges and lemons, oranges and lemons, fruits are fruits are Okay, you can help us. Just before we went for a, a break, we did have a discussion on challenges facing agribusiness today in Kenya. And we looked at a number of issues, and all that we mentioned is actually included here. Cost of doing business. Too many regulatory requirements, and when the lesson just before this one, you are being told about some of the requirements that we need to comply here in the United States. Increased competition. And as you start a business, a neighbor also starts another business. And the system competition from outside, something that I told you that I went to the sugar company 2004. The cost of production, they, they had really worked very hard, and invested a lot of money to reduce the cost of production from 29 to 21 per kilo. That is 2004. But the leading sugar company at that time was Munia Sugar Company. But Australia, Brazil were able to produce sugar at 11 shillings per kilo. And they could get that sugar to Mombasa at 19 with all the transportation. Now, cost of doing business is quite a big thing. And competition. Now we are getting competition from outside the country. So competitors are bringing here, right at home. There was a time people were complaining about eggs from South Africa which were going at very low prices. And people even had propaganda to say that those are not genuine eggs because of the price. But there were eggs laid by really chicken. <laughs> because they have reduced the cost of production and they are able to get the eggs to our country at a lower cost. Competition. Managing cash flow and high cost of credit is now becoming a very big issue. Increased customer awareness, which I've, I've told you that our customers that we are dealing with, they are very knowledgeable. They know what they want, how they want, when they want it, and they know the options that they have. Technological change. If we are going to do sustainable, profitable, commercial, agri business, do it be a farming as a business, we need Adapt. Not just, I don't want to say modern technology, I want to call it appropriate technology. And then we go down to lack of planning. For sure, many entrepreneurs get into business without a plan. The best they can do is to sit down with a paper and do some bit of, of budgeting. That's the best plan. They and then they get into a time when they are faced with a situation they cannot handle. So a lot of us are getting into business without planning. 